common, yet captivating. The mallard, or wild duck, Anas platyrhynchos. The mallard's food choice is very varied, as they are omnivorous and have a very flexible diet. A large part of this diet seems to consist of invertebrates such as gastropods, beetles, flies, lepidopterans, dragonflies, caddisflies, crustaceans, and worms. Basically, just like a Bethesda game, ducks are full of a lot of bugs. They also consume a large amount of plant matter, including a wide variety of seeds, roots, and tubers. Now that kind of seems silly, how does a duck get a root in its mouth? In addition to this, on rare occasions they've been noted to consume frog spawn, tadpoles, and on very rare occasions, small fish, and even frogs. Mallards usually form pairs in October and November in the Northern Hemisphere. They'll stay together until the female lays eggs, and then the male buggers off, literally looking for any poon he can find. And I am not overstating this. Male ducks are so flushed with reproductive instinct, they will breed with different species, inanimate objects, and they will even rape females. Though a morbid fact this is, they have developed a very interesting trait. Females have maze-like vaginas that have many dead ends. But, in turn, males have developed a corkscrew penis that is quite long, sometimes reaching over half of its body length, the record being 17 inches long, which you'd imagine the male ducks are very pleased with, but they shouldn't be too smug about it, as it withers away and falls off after breeding season. This is very fortunate for the females. It's hard to find anything that doesn't want to eat a duck. Even I love eating ducks, so to keep the list short, I will focus mainly on species in the UK that feed on these animals. Birds of prey, mustelids such as badgers and weasels, snakes, turtles, large fish, felids and canids. And that's not even mentioning the things in North America that want to eat them. Basically, any predator that is big enough and able to catch these animals will eat them. You know their waterside friend, the grey heron, that you often see beside ponds, right next to ducks? Well, he's just waiting for the smallest duck he can find to swallow whole. Now, although these guys are not on the top of the food chain, they are very well-adapted creatures. With the assistance of man, these animals have been able to colonize every continent on the globe, excluding Antarctica. They are found in both freshwater and saltwater wetlands, including parks, small ponds, rivers, lakes, and estuaries, as well as open sea within range of the coastline. What you're seeing now is a duck in my local area of Runcorn. This pond is disgusting. I don't even know if you can call it a pond. I mean, look at the water. That is what is known in layman's terms as growth. Thank you so kindly for watching. And yes, halfway through making this video, did I remember that Zafrank had made one years prior. This video was brought to you by a depressed swan.